Hi guys, Jonas here. Today, the topic of the video is scams. How would you fall for a scam that has so many clues for you that it's a fake, that it's not a genuine message from maybe the government or from a tech company or maybe a tech company like Microsoft, Apple or any other? Is it possible to detect a scam just by analyzing the English, just by analyzing the language of it? Of course it is. Here in Brazil, of, of course we can see WhatsApp messages and you can detect, ah, this is not my uncle, this is not my mother, my mother doesn't talk like this, my uncle doesn't talk like that. My uncle never, never says good morning. It really happened to us. Somebody was trying to be my uncle on WhatsApp and they were saying good morning to everybody and talking about uh, 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 money, some money problems they had or something. And we were like, he never says good morning. And then we really talked to the real guy, to my real uncle, and we saw, no, he's not sending these messages. Somebody copied his, his profile. I have seen cases of Brazilians that moved to the United States and because they didn't understand English very well, they didn't know how the country worked very well, they fell for these kinds of scams. One case, they received a letter on their mailbox, they opened it, and it was like the government was charging them some kind of tax that doesn't exist, and they didn't know that. There were many English mistakes there, but they simply didn't pay attention. They just got nervous, paid that as fast as possible, and lost their precious money. So let's try to learn how to detect this kind of thing. If you like this video, please click like, please leave your comment, comment anything. It helps the algorithm of the video and it helps to push me to post more videos more frequently. This message here, virus alert from Microsoft and disappears while you are browsing a website and you are shocked oh my god my windows is gonna be blocked what can i do i need to call this number and pay whatever they want so my computer and my work files are not lost but it's a fake and it's really really easy to detect that this is fake can you see any clues here can you see any english mistakes that show that this is fake. We could concentrate on detecting that ah, in technology language they don't use this kind of word or that kind of word. Here we are more interested in grammar. All right, we are more interested in the structure of the language. So I will give you time to detect it. Okay, time is over. First, first of all, do you think a company like Microsoft, Apple, Facebook, whatever company it is, will write a serious message like the system is being blocked with shocking language? For example, will a bank send you a letter like, we are going to destroy your house? Of course not. They are going to use formal language. For example, they are not going to say, we are going to do this. No, they are, going, they are going to say, this is going to happen. They are not going to accuse themselves of doing something. They are going to use passive language. This is one of the things. But here we can see other obvious things. This computer is blocked. Blocked. Look at the all caps here. Huh, is it common for one word like this to be in all caps in a formal message? Not really. English is a case sensitive language. What does it mean? It means that if the letters are in either lowercase or uppercase, it changes things. In general, when we see things in all caps, they are probably abbreviations. They are po probably anagrams. They are probably contractions of longer expressions. 
and not just to shock people. This is internet language. This is Facebook English. This is WhatsApp English. This is Snapchat English. Okay? So, no. Second thing, do not close this window and restart your computer. First, it's ridiculous to say that you can't close the window and restart your computer. Why? Does it make sense? But all the other sentences have punctuation. A period, question mark, period, 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 period. Only this one doesn't have a period. These official messages are normally revised. It's not one person that writes and then sends them. No, it's teams, whole teams of people that check and recheck and recheck these messages before they become official. So, people would probably not forget a period here, right? This is the first one. Your computer's registration is blocked. Again, look at this. Capital B on the word blocked. This is not a proper name. This is not a person. This is not a country. This is not a company name. Why is this B in uppercase? Because they want to shock you. They want to get your eyes to look at the word blocked. Blocked is important. Blocked, blocked, blocked. Your computer's registration. Computer's Y apostrophe S. It shouldn't be there, there shouldn't be a genitive case here with apostrophe S. It should be your computer registration. Key is blocked. But your computer? They don't even know if this is your computer. This computer? It, is it a computer? Is it another device using Windows? Hmm. Shouldn't it be this device registration, the registration on this device is blocked or anything like that? Okay, that's more technical. Here, it's just weird. It's just strange the way they are writing this here. And why we blocked your computer? It's a question. But where is the auxiliary verb? Why did we block your computer? Why did we block your computer? No, why we blocked your computer? A wrong question. Is this kind of question used in spoken English? Yes, of course, many people use this in conversation, but not in official notifications, all right? So, another thing, a company like this would never say, we blocked your computer. No, this computer was blocked. This computer has been blocked. And not, we blocked your computer. This kind of language, it's not very common in official messages. The Windows registration key is illegal. The Windows, wait, Windows? Where is the capital W if they are saying Windows like the product? Is this window the product or the browser window? It's really confusing. And the registration doesn't belong to Windows. The registration belongs to the user, not to the system. So this is, it just doesn't make sense. This shouldn't be here. This Windows registration, Windows with capital W key is illegal. To say that it's illegal, it's a serious accusation. They don't accuse the user of using an illegal copy in general, in general. Uh, the, this Windows is sending virus over the internet. Okay, virus, singular word. Singular units in English need to have a determiner. This virus, a virus, my virus, that virus. This Windows is sending a virus, a virus over the internet. This window, it's okay, so they are not talking about Windows, the system. The window of the internet browser. What's the connection between this and Windows, the operational system? This is really strange. This window is hacked. 
are used from undefined location. Again, undefined location. Singular, an undefined location. Where is the article? The indefinite article, an undefined location. This window is hacked. How do they know that it has been hacked? How don't they know if this is a bug or any other kind of problem? They don't accuse directly like that or used from undefined location. Okay. We block again. They are accusing themselves. No, this computer has been blocked. We block this computer for your security. Contact Microsoft, where is the capital M? Microsoft is a name, it's a proper name. It's the name of a company. So M should be in uppercase. Contact Microsoft, Microsoft helpline to reactivate your computer. Microsoft security, toll free. Uh, many people don't know what toll free means, especially if they are they speak English as a second language, but toll free, toll is the charge. You need to pay to call. Here it's toll free, the call is free. You don't pay. Okay. So, so many things here show that it, this is fake and in the place where I found this, I saw that around a thousand and five hundred people had fallen for this and paid I think one hundred and eighty dollars each because there was a hacker studying this, investigating this criminal group and this criminal group had already attacked many people and there was a list and the list had around a thousand and five hundred people. So please don't fall for these things. Pay attention to grammar. Why is this grammar important? Huh? Here. You won't lose your precious money if you pay attention to these small details. Alright? So if you have any comments about this right down here. Do you see more problems in this message than I spoke here on the video? Okay, right down here and please follow me and watch my next videos. Bye!